like a Smurf here, just going around and all this stuff. Now, listen, Mr. Chairman, you no, have no, I'm you, tell you no, no. Hold, hold on, if we're you if we're not on time, spew we spew disinformation. You, you, you have you gone on TV and you said the president did something you illegal. You're doing stuff with your brother. The American people have the same questions. Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? Why should they believe you? There's a different rule for the president. There's a different rule for you. Why should they believe what you're saying, Mr. Chairman? Why? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. How are you doing today? Great. That's Thank good. you. <clears throat> you know, my Republican colleagues are so concerned uh, about budgets. You know, meanwhile, they can't keep the government open without Democrats, right? You know, they're so concerned about all of these things, but look what they've done the last, you know, 11 months in power, just com utter and complete chaos. And the one thing they want to talk to you about today is this FBI building. Well, I wonder who has texted them and emailed them to talk about the FBI building. And the whole thing, that's it, you're here, about this FBI building. I mean, could that be that Donald Trump is telling them to talk about this FBI building because he's just so mad at the Department of Justice? I mean, it just, it's so transparent. And, and by the way, I don't know if you know this, we have a, a war in Afghanistan and a war in Israel. We can't get Israel foreign aid because the speaker decided to politicize it. But they want to talk about furniture. Oh, what is, that is definitely on the American people's mind. Right, right there with gas stoves and ceiling fans, other hearings we've had uh, in, in, in this committee. Um, the chairman mentioned something, actually. He said that the Biden administration can't have it both ways. And I agree with that, Mr. Chairman, um, which is why I'm happy to yield you some of my time today, Mr. Chairman, because I think you owe it to the American people to explain why you've gone on Fox News and told people that while the president was out of office, he, he had a loan with his brother, and in a way they were evading taxes. It has come out in the public that you also do business with your brother with potential loans. And so since you have framed that and manipulated that with the American people, that Joe Biden did something wrong when he wasn't in office, I just would like to know if you would like to use some of my time. I would that. love. I would love it. Okay. You retweeted that story. Completely false. I've never loaned my brother one penny. My father, who was a dentist, had some farmland. He died, and my brother couldn't afford. He wanted to sell it, but he wanted to keep it in the family, so I bought it from my brother. That story that you tweeted also said I had a shell company. That is You can come to Monroe County and look at all the land that is titled in that LLC. I think that the problem is, you know, they tried to get, the White House tried to get CNN to write that story. They went around and investigated all this that Ian Sams is trying to tell people that only dumb, financially illiterate people pick up on and said that uh, it was a shell company because it was an LLC. You're so financially illiterate that you think because something says LLC, it's a shell company. This company, which I financially disclose, has properties, okay? It manages thou over a 1,000 acres of land for hunting purposes. It owns different properties. I'm one of the largest landowners in my home area, okay? I went to the bank, and I borrowed money, and I bought that land. I didn't get wires from Romania, China. My family doesn't get wires, okay? Never loaned my brother money. Don't have an LLC. But you and Goldman, who is Mr. Trust Fund, continue to try Recla to reclaiming my time. No, I'm Re not going to give you your time back. We can stop the clock. You go on Fox News and say loans you and go on deals Fox are a way to evade and... taxes. We don't know that's what you're doing or not. We don't know. We have no idea. We're supposed to take your word for it. But when the president well, you've says already something, been proven a liar, Mr. Moskowitz. What's that? You've already been proven a liar. Today. Who's proven me a liar? You? Yes. Your word means well, nothing, Mr. Chairman. Go to my hometown. There's a camera crew there today, an opposition research crew there today. Mr. To Chairman, this seems, to have gotten under your, this seems to have gotten under your skin. I'll I pay mean, for your I, ticket. I, I, I think the American people have lots of questions, Mr. Chairman, and perhaps you should sit maybe for a deposition. I, would, I will be questions. happy. I will sit with Hunter Biden and Jim Biden, and we can go over our LLC. That, that'll be great. I'll, I'll make sure the hey, ranking member do that. is happy that, that. that you'll we'll sit, at a, sit at a table. Mr. Right. Chairman, I, I make a point of order What's your point? That, that we should return to regular order uh, uh, for the benefit the, of the other members. The ranking member makes a good point. 
I'll reclaim my time, Mr. Chairman. I'll, I'll, I'll wrap it up quickly. All I'm saying, Mr. Chairman, is you may have done nothing wrong. No, but you tweeted oh, but, that oh, I did. I'm, I'm reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. All I'm, there's a story out there, right, because we believe everything in the media, like when you go on Fox News and say things and everyone says that they're true with innuendos and ifs and maybe the Biden family, the crime family, all this nonsense. But when it happens to you, it's fake news. And what I'm saying is there so should you be the same. No, you. I'm reclaiming my time, Mr. Chairman. There should be the same standard. You said at the beginning of this hearing, the Biden administration can't have it both ways. Neither can you, Mr. Chairman. I yield my time back. Thank you.